cases in New Jersey skyrocketing 42% in just one day. The state reporting more than 9,700 cases of COVID on Wednesday, prompting local officials to take drastic measures. After today, schools in Patterson, New Jersey will go fully remote until mid-January. The mayor ramping up efforts to make sure residents are protected, especially as we head into the holidays, right? So Mayor Andre Saya joining us once again here on the Pick 7 Morning News to outline the steps his city is taking. Mayor, good to see you. Good to see you as well. So, Mayor, let's get into it because we, let's talk about schools first. What was the final straw for you that prompted school officials to make the call go fully remote after the holiday break when a lot of times we hear that schools are some of the safest places? Our nurses were getting infected. So if your nurses are sick, how are they going to care for the students? So because that posed a problem and a shortage amongst nurses, it was the prudent course of action to take as far as going remote. Now, as a parent, it's unfortunate mm. because I feel like there's nothing that parallels the in-person experience for our students. And now there's another interruption. And Patterson has one of the highest vaccination rates in New Jersey with 94% of residents vaccinated. But Ash here's 98%. Well done. But here's my question update. for you now, because now we're beginning to have a conversation about what is fully vaccinated. Is it two doses? Is it two doses with a booster once you've become eligible? And are you looking at some mandates to try and massage these numbers and make you even safer? Yeah, I'm glad you asked that question. So 98% represents at least one dose. Okay. So it could obviously be Johnson & Johnson, but the other two you have to come back. So obviously we want them to return. And it's 18 and older. So we're focusing now on the five to 11 category children. And we're also pushing the booster. Now here's what we did. The, the city is actually co closed today and tomorrow, but our division of health is going to be open. We're going to have our mobile unit outside of city hall today. Yeah. during the evening and then tomorrow Christmas Eve they'll be out until 9 p.m. vaccinating okay. boosting and testing so out of that 98 percent let's be clear how many are actually boosted because we're hearing now that the booster is essential to keeping people safe right yeah that 98 percent reflects from December 28th to this point vaccinated individuals one dose one dose but okay yeah. I'm, I'm looking for the, the booster number here but it, it, the it, booster's creeping up to 40 percent okay so we got our work cut out for us with that but obviously testing and vaccination sites, they've been overwhelmed, right, with the number of people coming in to get those booster shots. And the lines throughout New Jersey to get tested are just insanity. So what are you doing to ease the burden in terms of testing, make it easier for people to not have to wait in such a long line? Well, that's why we have multiple sites. So we have our division of health. Then we also have the mobile unit. And then we have participate, participating pharmacies as well. So let's talk about the, the surge and how it's impacting public safety as well, because it's hitting your Patterson Police Department. What's going on with staff shortages there? How many are sick? What are you doing to address that and to keep the officers safe and the public safe? Yeah, we've had over 60 police officers test positive recently, and now we've enlisted the support of our sheriff. So he's providing patrols in Patterson. And quite frankly, we are going to reach out to other law enforcement entities for assistance as well because mm -hmm. you don't want to compromise public safety while you have a public health crisis. Yeah, you know, and so that brings us to the next topic, right? Because it's the, the governor always says he leaves it up to each individual municipality and town to make their own decisions here. So are you considering reinstating indoor mask mandates like we're seeing in Montclair, like we're seeing in South Orange and Newark? In Newark, yes, we are. We're, we're considering that. City Hall will be closed. For the next few days and once we return we will be potentially issuing an executive order what okay but you're closed right but i mean it's not like the virus is going away anytime soon so could you make that decision while your office is still closed if the numbers are they're doubling by the day oh no i certainly could make that decision when i'm saying about implementation once we return oh i see Gotcha. And, and I just want to just go back to the school topic for a second right now. I'm sorry to flip flop and bring it back to this where we started, but I think a lot of parents are wondering is three weeks for now. Right. That could change. You have to monitor the situation. Right? Yeah. We're looking, we're looking at metrics. Okay. I heard earlier you're looking at hospitalizations that Omicron is not as severe. Yeah. That's clearly something that we're seeing because our hospital beds are not where, where at capacity where well, they good. were at the, what, at the peak of the pandemic. 
but do you, when you say you're looking at metrics, do you have sort of a, a number that you don't want to get past where you're going to then pull the trigger on more things like keeping kids out of school, like a mask mandate, like even no. vaccination mandates? You always have to look at your daily infection rate. Yeah. And we're looking at it getting down into potentially the single digit. Well, I'm, I should say double digits because yeah. right now it's in the triple digits and you don't want that. We're in the 200s. I know with our daily infection rate. All right, well, keep us posted on that executive order, okay? I think it's important for everybody to know. Mayor Andre say, I always appreciate you coming on here. Great image Thank behind you. you of the Great Falls. Good to see you. Love Happy that. holidays. Love that place. You noticed. I love it. It's a great place. So do I. All right, take care, sir. Happy holidays to you, okay?